So, I just wanted to go over why I sent back the uh, Cyber Power 1660 Ti, and if you guys still believe that it's a good PC, or you think that you'll still enjoy it regardless of what I think, that's totally fine. I'm not going to judge anyone based on their own personal preference, but basically what I'm saying is the reason that it's a not very good PC. I don't want to say it's total crap because the parts in it are okay. Okay at the best. Now, what you get in it, is uh, a Zodiac 1060 Ti, which is fine, but for the price that you're paying, it's pretty ridiculous. This uh, motherboard that it's advertising here on its current thing, oh, by the way, this box also isn't just sitting there willy-nilly for the fans, so it's not so easy to get to, it's on the back, but this motherboard that it shows, they were right telling the truth about what uh, what RAM stick you got, because that is what I got. It is a pain in the ass to try to find a match. If you live in Canada, in the States, you can get it for 50 bucks, which is fine. Uh, also, that mouse that it's showing there, mine didn't look anything like that. I don't think mine had the silver on top, so that's another straight-up lie. Mine was all black, if I recall correctly. Let me actually check that. Uh, and... Big fat. Yes, mine was all black. So it's not even the same mouse. Assholes. <laughs> I don't understand. Why do they do false advertising? Like, they can do this. Anyways, this motherboard that it's advertising is a bazooka. Which, if I got the bazooka, I would have been absolutely happy and I would have kept the system. Uh, the bazooka motherboard is great. The other problem is it didn't come with direct X files, which uh, basically is used to download more professional games or even. MSI Afterburner on-screen display, as I can show you here. So MSI Afterburner on-screen display is basically I open up MSI, I have my Afterburner set up, so it will come up everything that I wanted to show. So after a little while, it will pop up and it will show everything. You cannot get that without DirectX files. Uh, you also can't download Apex. You can download Fortnite. You can't download Steam. Steam gave me a really hard time. For some reason, I eventually got Steam to work, but I couldn't get anything else to work. Um, yeah, just... I don't... I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, I'm actually pissed that they did this. Uh, they also send you a motherboard that is uh, AMD Crossfire enabled, but you bought a GTX card, so there's no chance you're ever going to buy it. Uh, they also sell an SLI. So I don't know why they just didn't make an SLI motherboard to put into it. This one actually looks a lot cooler. Uh, the next problem with that motherboard, which was basically my main problem with the whole computer, is it had a, a max RAM speed of 2,666. RAM, DDR4 RAM, goes from 2,133 all the way up to 3,400. Uh, the best being 3,000 or 3,200 for the best bang for your buck. Uh, if you watch Linus Tech Tips videos, he recommends the 3200 or the 3000 depending on the price. You can't even get up to 3000 so like the recommended speed that like a professional would recommend, you can't even get to. Uh, I also would recommend 3000 as well. Unless you're using multiple sticks, then I would say that you can get away with 2400 Uh, just... I, I don't know. Like, I've bought two other Cyber Power PCs, and the one came with an MSI motherboard, and the other one came with an Asus. So, for them to just throw in their own, like, brand name garbage, that it's not even, like, uh, overclock, overclockable, uh, it's just an absolute kick in the dick. So, take my advice with a grain of salt. I have bought two other Cyber Power PCs, and by far that one was the worst and the most expensive. So, if CyberPower is going to keep on that route, I don't think I'll ever even recommend a CyberPower to anyone ever again.